Okay, we have one more unit to do for the stairway that goes from level 1 to level 2, and that is this small part in the front. So we're going to take the skills that we've learned in making the previous two stairwells and put them to good use here. So to start with, we have some medium weight chipboard that we need. For our stair walls, we need four pieces that are one and a half inches by two inches. For our stair base, it's three quarters by two and three eighths. For the bottom, it's two inches by three quarters of an inch. And these the next couple pieces we'll actually use in the finishing, but we might as well paint and prep them now. We have an end wall that's one, just one of these, and it's one and a half by two inches. And then we have a little strip I call the inside end wall, and it's three sixteenths inch by one and three quarters. Three sixteenths by one and three quarters. And that is the medium weight chipboard that's needed. Then we need uh, some cardstock. Uh, this this uh, staircase uses the technique we learned for the level 2 to 3 staircase uh, with the bottom step. So we need a little strip of white cardstock that is 1 quarter inch by 2 inches. Then for our steps we need a piece of cardstock that is 3 quarter inch by 3 and 3 quarter. Uh, again, I'm going to use craft instead of white uh, as shown here. Then we're going to need a couple of small uh, pieces for our railings. These, uh, the maximum you need to punch is about two inches uh, to prep to get ready for this. So that's our pieces. So let's get started. As usual, we'll start by cutting our uh, stair walls, and this one we orient our uh, walls with the long dimension on the top, the two inch dimension on the top, and the one and a half inches going vertically. We're going to make uh, our first tick mark comes in at three quarters of an inch. From, uh, from the left side and down a quarter inch from the top. So let's mark that. Three quarters of an inch in from the left side. Again I'm using pen, you would use pencil. I'll shift the orientation and measure my quarter inch. So now I've created that tick mark and then we'll come up one quarter inch from the bottom bottom right corner now I've created that tick mark and I'll connect the dots And we'll cut on this line and remove this section. We'll do that four times, so for a total of four walls. Now to work on our front uh, stair base. This is the piece that is uh, three quarters of an inch wide by two and three eighths inch long. It needs one score only, and that is a half an inch away from the end. This score goes partially through the medium weight chipboard enough to kind of break it. And this is going to be the orientation for the front staircase that's starting high on the left and going down on the right. We'll again add our cardstock uh, joining strips to the bottom edge. 
This time we only have two pieces uh, on each side, much like the level two to three staircase, since there's only one um, bend in the stairs. install these little guys and of course give them a burnish as usual so that we now have this. I would trim any overlap here if there is any. So we've got those pieces prepped, let's do some painting. As before, we'll paint both sides, all edges of our four walls. I painted the bottom on one side. Uh, I don't know if it's really necessary. Um, of course, we'll paint our uh, stair base. And then uh, the two pieces that we need after we make the join, the ed end wall and this little tiny sliver of chipboard the, that goes on the inside of the end wall. So that's our painting that we need to accomplish. Both sides, all edges, if I didn't say that already. Now, marking for uh, stair base joining, same thing as before, two pieces oriented in um, a mirror direction. And I like to put them sideways to draw these lines. The first line coming in from the top is going to be a quarter of an inch, a quarter of an inch pencil line uh, along the top. And then we will cut, uh, draw, much like we did for the level two to three staircase, we'll draw a 1 16th inch line along the bottom of each piece. You can again use the width of the medium weight chipboard if you uh, can't gauge that 16th of an inch. So we have those markings as we have done before. And now we're ready to attach our, our stair base. As before, the edge, this edge platform edge, will line up with the vertical edge of the stair wall. The bottom of the platform lines up with the pencil line. And the front edge of the front corner of the stair base does not go past the 1 16th inch line that we drew. So let's get this installed. You may be like me and need to trim some of that joining strip out of the way so it doesn't go past that line. So check things out here. That looks pretty good. So these edges align here on the left. The bottom of the chipboard is on the pencil line and this bottom edge does not go past the 16th inch line and we burnish. And then remove the tape backing. I was a little stubborn. There we go. 
and again bottom of the platform aligns with the pencil line and the back edge with the vertical edge and then coming down here at the front it does not go past the 1 16th inch line. Get that in place, give it a good burnish, and we've made our little slide. Now to give it some stability we want to add the bottom on. And uh, we'll just do that with our wet glue. Oh, I forgot this was clogged up a little bit. So, putting the wet glue on the inside here. Some right down here on this edge, and the inside here. Just wait a few seconds for it to get a little tacky. Just using my work surface to get things aligned properly. I put down a little piece of patty paper just to um, keep the glue off of my cutting mat. Then we'll just hold that for a few seconds until it sets up. Okay, now I want you to position the stairs so that the tall end is at the right. Tall end is at the right. And mark this the back. We have to do a little trimming, just kind of like uh, we had to do when we made the back part of this staircase. This again was so that we only had to use one template. But now what we want to do is to, on this back side, trim the part that sticks up above the platform. So with the front facing me, I'm just going to, you can draw a line, I'm just going to show, you can just take your scissors in there and do this. But I'm just going to show you what we're going to remove. We're going to remove that little section there. So, again, this is I'm cutting the back side. I'm just putting my scissors right there along that line. And cutting that rectangle off. So I removed that. Oops, let me turn around here. From the back side, I removed that little wedge. That's not going to show, so there's no need to touch up paint there.
All right, now we're ready to put on the steps. Uh, same like we did uh, for level two to three. We're going to put score tape on the top platform and then down the front. Top platform down the front. And then about three quarters of an inch back. A couple of strips on the bottom here. This is just like we prepped for level two to three stairs. Then we'll add our little bottom step. This is the piece that is one quarter inch by two inches. I've already prepped it with a score tape on the back here. And I'm going to score it at three eighths. And then one and three eighths. I'm sorry. Score it one half. I knew I should have looked at my directions. One half and then one and three eighths. We need that gap to be seven eighths of an inch uh, between or the fold to be seven eighths of an inch. Not a full inch. I got it here. Yep. And then We'll put a little, as soon as I can find the end here, a little piece of score tape in the middle of that U there on the front. Leave that on there and then pull off the tape backing on the back, maybe. There we go. Stretch that across the front and anchor it on the side. All right, so our little little bottom step is installed just like we installed it on level two through three. Now let's score some steps. This is our piece of cardstock that is three quarters of an inch by three and three quarters, as you can see there. And this one gets scored at starts at the three quarter inch mark and then at one quarter inch increments until you reach two and three quarters. That's going to be nine scores total. So start at the three quarters. And make nine scores till you end up at the two and three quarters. So starting at the three quarter inch end, fold that first one down. And then accordion fold from there. So we end up with something that looks like this. I'm going to give it a little dusting of snow. Okay. 
and then squash it back up here because I want it good and tight remember before we install it on the stairs so you know the routine by now you fold back just the top part here on the landing and taking the three quarter inch end line that up with the end of the platform and secure it. Remember don't press too hard past about the half inch mark because there's no support underneath there. Then reach up in here and pull off the tape backing from the stair base and also from the front steps. And give this a gentle pull Till you get that secured at the bottom of the stair base. And then come back in here, put the stairs down and burnish in the creases. prep for burnt putting this attaching it to the bottom fold it first then remove the score tape backing you just need some railings and some decorative paper and we'll have the front of this stair staircase done So the railings are again sandwiched in between the front and back walls. Um, we need to trim a little on the back wall here. So I'm just a lot taking the back wall, lining it up. Just this is our back, as you recall. Maybe I shouldn't have taken the label off of there, but that's our back. So we'll take, take this wall, line it up here, make a line there, and we're going to trim this piece off here. back inside on here so just so I don't forget what's going on and now I'll take my little railings that I've already done we've done this several times before so I'm not going to go through all the steps with you but when we attach these, again, we don't want to go past the landing. This is similar to when we did the, the um, back steps. We want to keep them away from the landing. It's, uh, it's important to do it on both sides. It's more so important on the back because the actual platform is going to extend across here. So when we put this one on, on the back side. We'll make sure that we don't encroach into the landing area. So we've got our railings on. Let's turn here to the back. This is our back side. 
and we can go ahead and attach this wall. It doesn't get any decorative paper, so let's go ahead and glue that on. My glue keeps getting stuck. Hold that for a few seconds. Now on our front side we want to put decorative paper on here and I don't want to hold it back a sixteenth inch from this edge because the end wall is going to come here much like uh, what we did when we um, it's kind of similar to the back one but we don't have to go over a sixteenth of an inch because this end wall is only one thickness uh, of chipboard thick so I'm going to, I want, I try to help myself. I know that I want to put paper, so I'm just writing on here paper, so I remember that that's the paper side. And I'm going to put my, where's my, here's some repositionable. And I want to, have a sixteenth of an inch reveal down here but on the, directly on the edge here and I'll flip this over and mark it now on these edges that I just marked I am going to cut back a sixteenth of an inch on those some glue and when we attach this one we're going to take it right up to that left edge we have a reveal on all the other edges but not not on this edge you'll see why in a few minutes Now, we're going to set this one aside. Don't attach it to the stairway yet. So now we've cleared our decks in preparation to putting the two pieces of the level 1 to 2 stairway together. So let's gather our pieces. Here's our back stairway. Here is the back stairway wall that has no paper. Here's the front stairway that we just completed. Here's the front stairway wall that does have paper. Here's the end wall. Let's scooch up here a little bit. And the little inside end wall. It's a piece of decorative paper to cover this end wall 
end wall is an inch and a half by two so this paper is cut one and three eighths by one and seven eighths uh, to have that little reveal and we have our, a piece of punched paper railing that's about five inches long I think that's it so let's get started uh, first let's put our decorative paper on our end wall And now we're going to join our staircases. So, put these pieces to the side for a second. The back staircase goes in the back, and the long edge is at our right. The front stairway goes in the front, and the long edge is at the left. We're going to join up just like that. So let's put some wet glue on this join. Give it a good pinch. Making sure everybody is nice and straight. I'm just going to hold it there for a few seconds. Now we want to take our back inside wall piece. This is going to fit inside of the two landings and on, on top of this piece that comes across here. So it should fit just inside here. I'm going to just put a little glue on the two ends. And on the bottom. I'm going to let it get tacky for a second here. And once you have it lined up, just give it some pressure. That's what it looks like from the side here. Don't be in a rush when when you've got gluing things going on. You know, hold them for a few minutes and uh, think your deep thoughts. Let them dry completely. Be more successful with your project if you have a little patience. We're enjoying the process, not just the end product. Or at least that's what I always say. So now that that's set up, 
we're ready to add our railing piece. And our railing piece is going to go in a U-shape on the outside here from the front along this end partition and then around the back here. So I like to trim trim it to look nice on that front part so that you know that's the part that's mainly going to show is out here in the front. So I'm going to come around here just kind of measuring for fit now. See where I want to go. And to me it looks like I will end, let me put a piece of this white behind here so you can see it a little bit better. I'm going to cut it off at the end of this snowflake right here. But just so that it looks like the railings, you know, are as continuous as possible. I mean, they're not going to be perfect, perfect, because depending on how your punch works out, you may have to fudge it a little bit or make it work. You know, I'll be fine. Let me get this a little inking action. Both sides. Put some score tape along the bottom. So now that we have that railing all the way around, we can finish off these three sides. So let's start with the back piece. And this back piece is going to line up, fit sn right snugly in that, that edge. There was a gap there in that back wall. Would help if I turned it the right direction. There we go. So I'll put some glue on there. like I need to do a little maintenance on my glue. It's not acting appropriately. Give that a little squish. Oops. Put some patty paper down here. Now we'll come and put the front end wall on. bit of pressure for a few minutes here. Okay, 
And finally, we'll stick this end piece on the end. I'm going to put the glue over on this side. Then our last little thing to do here is to cover up the join between the two um, staircases. I'm just sticking, I don't, uh, it needs to be, this is a three quarter inch strip, it needs to be a sixteenth of an inch narrower because we put that um, end wall in. So let me just trim that down here. Sometimes if I'm not sure about those kinds of things, I just take a piece of scrap paper and fit it in there and make the measurement that way. I have plenty of this craft card stock around, so I'm just using it to kind of measure. Well, actually, let me just measure on the outside here. That would be a better way to do. That's an inch and three quarters. Give it a little snow. Alternatively, if you didn't want to have the uh, decorative paper here, whatever you're going to use for the ground cover on the levels, you could um, use that paper. So that completes our level one to two staircase. I hope you give it a try because I think there, there it's fun, it's fun to challenge yourself sometimes with a with a more um, challenging creation. I see I need to put a little more glue right in this joint, and I'll do that. And. Uh, then we'll move on to the next videos. We'll be constructing level two and three, and uh, then we'll from there we'll move on to the buildings.